Hi guys, so in today's video, I am just going to be showing you guys what I eat throughout the week. See, what are the difference between these two bananas? As you can see, one is ripe and one is nearly going to be ripe soon. Um, I don't really like bananas when they're at this stage. I can't eat them. I don't know what it is. I just feel like they're just super sweet. But we are going to try and attempt to make some banana bread. Okay, so I stuck the spoon in. If the spoon comes out dry, that means it's ready. That's how it looks. Mmm. That's actually quite good. It just tastes like banana cake. Yeah, I think I added a bit too much salt. I'm gonna be having this cake every single day. I'm joking, it's gonna be finished by today. Like what we're gonna do is we're gonna make some creamy prawn pasta. These are the prawns I'm gonna make. I got these from Little. Oh guys, this is the only one that I have. I Sensational. It would have been amazing with chicken chicken breasts, but I don't have any chicken breasts. Bismillah. Well, oh, this is really good. This isn't good for my lactose intolerance, but sometimes we have to forget that we have these things i use this cream for the pasta um the reason why i use this cream is it tastes better than the other one and i also have one of my favorite drinks iron brew um i just got home i know i look like a mess but like i'm so hungry i haven't had breakfast so i'm gonna make myself something to eat i still have them sausages left over from my vegan video so i think i'm gonna make myself some sausages <laughs> that a bit on the side like that I also made myself like a little cafe caramel latte it's been nice it's delicious I always add ketchup it's been nice those potatoes are hella soft sausages
That's a bit spicy. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get some ketchup. Like that. I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna, gonna cut up the sausages. On top. Just on the sides. One, two, three, four. I'll stick a potato in there to cover it up. And I'm just gonna add these potatoes on top. Like that. Yeah, like that. I'm gonna put it like that. Squish it down. Sorry about that guys, that was a bit inappropriate. This is it. And now we go bismillah. Mm -mm. To me this is sensational. Make your own frappuccino, this tastes delicious. That bangs, you know. It's just creamy. what I've created. I'm supposed to use the shrimp to create univorta for my Bengali video and then I noticed what well, I was inside the fri freezer and I was really hungry so I was looking and I saw this and I was like oh my god what can I make and then I googled it and I can make shrimp curry, shrimp coconut curry. Wow that's creamy. This is the shrimp. Not at all. It's very creamy and you can barely taste the coconut. Like it's like it's not strong and overpowering. It's just it's very creamy. This tastes so good, but it doesn't taste super spicy though. I thought it would be super spicy because of the green chilies and the powder. And then I realized it's actually not that spicy. Guys, so I bought these two noodles. I bought this one and I bought this one and I also bought these noodles. Um I I really like these noodles, especially when I'm like at work because it's really quick for me to make. But today we are actually going to be making this one. It is halal if you guys wanted to know. Guten Morgen. It's quite early in the morning. This is what I've created for myself for breakfast today. It is noodles. Um, I don't know why, but I've been craving them. I'm not great with spiciness, but I'm trying to build that tolerance. It's super creamy and the noodles are kind of thick. Up a bit of this. Guys, just look at this. <laughs> Guys, this. Oh, no, 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 no. Na, na, na. Sorry, the washing machine's on. Everything's on. It's a little bit rubbery, but really juicy and sugary. Guys, just look at this. Oh, you guys need to see how amazing this looks. Oh, Bismillah. I know a lot of people don't like custard, but I love custard. <laughs> I know a lot of you guys are going to be looking at me like I'm, I've been in the same robe the whole day long. And I'm really sorry, but yes, I have. I've been sitting around watching TV shows and now I got hungry. I really got hungry. Um, but I realized there's nothing inside the house. There's, let me show you what there is, okay? There's, there's this. So I couldn't make chickpeas. I was thinking of doing chickpeas curry. There's this sauce, but like, I don't, I don't know who brought it. I could make this, I could make it into like a pasta bake, right? No, and then there's beans and there's tuna, you know, like just, there's a lot of canned things in my house, right? By the way, guys, I have no bread. <laughs> so I have made, this is, <laughs> this is supposed to be some piratha I'm going to be making. I really do hope it goes well. 
if it doesn't go well then I'm still eating it so I hope that goes well I really wanted to make some chickpeas I've got some chickpeas I have dried chickpeas but I never strained them overnight this does expire 0323 can I ask you a quick question yeah when you make this it's just chickpeas and salt so does that mean that it's boiled or not let's shall I check <laughs> in between when I make things but I'm going to talk today so I can make it a little bit easier so you understand with the chickpeas I've taken out all the shell I don't like the shell because I feel like it makes the food taste a bit funky and like I don't like seeing it just like I don't know what it is it's just like it reminds me of a snake shredding have you ever seen a snake shred yeah that's what it reminds me of and it really just like I'm gonna boil it for a little bit because I really like my chickpeas to be really really soft so I'm gonna make my chahal what's it called let me let me just quickly like let you guys know what I'm making. I am terrible at talking, especially when I'm hungry. Like I don't want to talk. I just want to eat. So I'm going to be making chi uh, chikar chaloi, which is chana masala, which is a Lahori chikar chawla. It is Pakistani. Um, enjoy. I'm going to be watching my show while I do this. I'm sorry. So I can't really like we can't really keep talking. Sorry about that. Sorry. Um, like liquid that was left over from the salt and like um, I saw this girl on Instagram and she did a video where she turned that chickpea uh, liquid into a mousse like some sort of like uh, a vegan dessert <laughs> This is supposed to be the dal, um, and this is supposed to be my paratha. Is that correct? The paratha is a bit hard, flaky. This is sensational. This is actually really good, you know. Today is a Sunday. One thing I can say to you guys is if you guys ever have chickpeas, never ever have them in the evenings. Never ever ever have them in the evenings. Guys, I'm sleeping and my digestive system feels like it's boiling. Like all I hear is just like gases. Shh. 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 Like, you know what I mean? Like, chickpeas are not good in the evening. I don't even understand why I even had it. So, I'm gonna make myself some breakfast. I have uh, taken out the chicken from the freezer so um i think these these chickens have been around for like months by the way guys yeah can i ask a quick question if you put chicken in the freezer when you get from the butcher how long are they supposed to be inside the freezer for until you can use them because i'm not gonna lie it's been four months 
I know that sounds hella mad, I know, but it's been inside the freezer, it hasn't been out of the freezer, so it's just been constantly frozen, but because it's been frozen, you know, there's there's no bacteria that grows, so technically it's as fresh as I brought it. So I'm just going to wait till it defrosts, once it defrosts, even like, if it's like 70% defrosted, I feel like that would be perfect, so I'm just going to do that, I'm going to make some brekkie now, don't judge my breakfast and how I have my porridge. Give it a good shake. Then we have some uh, crushed, don't look there. We have some crushed walnuts. I like to add a bit of walnuts just to the side. I added a dollop of uh, Nutella. Mix it. And there you have it. I promise you, it tastes like Snickers. Bismillah. And I usually make this with the golden, with the plain porridge, not the one with the golden syrup because that one's already kind of sweet. I've never made overnight oats though. I think the reason why I've never made overnight oats is because I don't really like cold porridge. I like my porridge warm. I have it cold, it feels like I'm having the yogurt and I don't want to feel like I'm having yogurt in the morning. This is really, really good. I feel like I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna have so much energy the whole day. Let me show you guys how to make tea. I like to start my morning off with tea or coffee, but mostly like if I'm having like, say for example now I've had this, right? and it has like, it's quite milky, I wouldn't have coffee because that would just send my stomach. Like that will <laughs> So when I have like something that's like milky, I always have tea. If I have like something like beans and stuff like that, I would normally have coffee. Um, either way, I'll have tea or coffee. I will get the cup, stick in a tea bag. You can add sugar. I don't really add sugar to my tea. I don't, I don't, I don't like it, I don't know why. Um, and then you just pour in the hot water. Some people put the milk in, and I don't understand how you pour the milk in because if you pour the milk in, I feel like the tea bag doesn't get like it blocks like the milk particles kind of blocks the tea from like you know absorbing in the tea, like it doesn't make the tea strong. I feel like it's just like a milky tea, like it's really wetty. Like, I don't know how to describe it, it's just like it's like it's like I don't know, like it's, it's flat. Flat, like when I drink the tea, there's no tea particles. By the way, guys, yeah, you know there's people that work as tea tasters, and so they go around the world and they just try tea and they get paid for this. So they get paid to travel all around the world, probably in really great hotels, and all they're doing is trying tea. I'm not gonna lie to you, I did apply for that job once. Um, they didn't have the respect to even message me and say you got rejected. <laughs> now I let this sit for like two to three minutes. Parents recycle tea bags. What do you mean? Like, you know how I use the tea bag and then they'll leave it on the side and then recycle it and like use it for another tea? I like my tea strong. Like, I like my tea to be like, 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 you know, I like it darky, not too darky, but like two shades lighter than dark. Um, but my parents actually, well, my mum recycles tea because she doesn't like tea that strong. So she doesn't like using a brand new tea bag. So she would, if I make like the tea that I've made now, instead of putting it in the, um, what's it called, the recycling, she would like, there's like a bowl and put it inside there. And she'll just like reuse it. Do your parents do that too? Or is that just mine? I don't know.
a biryani, right? Let me just make myself a drink. Guys, I don't, I have this very weird, weird, when I tell you guys, I can't throw away glass to keep it. I don't know why. Genuinely, I don't know why. Um, I have a bit of ice. I'm just gonna make myself a really, like, I'm gonna make myself a drink. Um, Red Bull sugar free. Um, I like the Red Bull sugar free. I feel like it has a better taste than the one that has like lots of sugar. Um, and I also got myself this. I really wanted to try and make a drink out of this. This is this is Kool Aid lemonade. It's unsweetened, zero percent sugar. So this is a sugar free drink. I don't think I've ever created a sugar free drink. Um, and it's caffeine free. I think it only supposed to add a little bit. Oh, and it's bright yellow. Look at that. Look at that. It's yellow, ain't it? gonna make my drink super yellow i've never made, have i made a yellow drink before i don't think i've ever made a yellow drink a lot of people don't like the taste of red bull i personally do if i had some grapefruits on the side lemonade on the side um some orangey on the side that would look that would look absolutely amazing i'm not planning on sleeping bismillah it tastes like medicine I'm so proud of myself for creating this biryani. Um, this isn't an authentic biryani recipe. Well, I'm just gonna. You know, this smells so good. This smells so good. And I love a chicken biryani, me. The bottom, you know, when I have biryanis, I really like the bottom part. Like, I love scraping the bottom. My biryani and my banana. I'm Somali, so like, we have banana. We had banana with every rice dish that we have. I'm Somali guys and I and I'm to be honest with you it has a bit of um little bit of sweetness to it to really um oh love a bit of this usually I'll chop it up but today because we're using our hands make sure your hands are clean by the way um wait, oh <laughs> I'm sorry was I supposed to anyway so this is the way I'm gonna eat it oh this is really hot but I know this is gonna taste fabulous Look at that chicken guys look at i love like me i don't eat chicken on a bone because i feel like it's a bit i'm not gonna say anything grab a bit of that so you just like break that off I, okay okay i'll try it without the banana okay just to like so do you guys just see this massive thing bro chill out okay bismillah So you can taste the spices, the lemon, you can taste the, the rice, the rice, I cook, by the way guys, yeah, one thing about me is, I cook rice perfectly, I've always cooked rice perfectly, I've never had a situation, maybe I have, but um, we're not going to talk about that, but i try it with the banana, that was delicious, that was fabulous, so much flavour, so much aroma, that, oh. guys, you're telling me that that doesn't look perfect, like in itself, yeah, this did take quite a while, but it is just, it's worth it. Every minute I, it took to cook this was worth it. You would assume that this would be like a very long dish to make or a dish which will require so much ingredients, but really and truly, if you have the standard spices, you can make anything. 